Hi, my name is Adrian Beasley, and I'm going to show you just a quick way how to use GoodSync, which is a file synchronization tool, to copy a master external drive to a secondary external drive. So I'm going to use this as a way of simply mirroring one complete external hard drive to a second, and I use that for my photography backups. So here's GoodSync running. Um, we start first of all by creating a new job. So we do job new, give it a name. Select the backup option because I want to take the master drive and back it up to a secondary drive. I don't want to synchronize. So we say OK to that. What I'm then going to do is choose the drive I want to select as the master drive. So this is my Photos Mobile. It's an external hard disk. I'm not going to go down inside into the folders inside that drive. Simply going to copy the entire of the hard disk itself. So we say OK to that. Um, and then on the right hand side, so we've selected the master side, we select now the where I'm going to code to. So I'm going to use the Photos Mobile Backup Hard Drive. This is a second external hard drive on my system. And we say OK to that. So we're now set up. Photos Mobile will be copied to Photos Mobile Backup. And I just want to have a look at some of the options for this backup job. Because there's one I want to change. First of all, show you that. Propagate deletions is ticked, that's good. That means that if I delete anything on the master drive, it'll also be deleted on the slave drive, and I want that. But the thing I do want to change here is just to exclude hidden and system files. I don't need to copy those. This is simply a photo backup. So I'm going to say OK to that. And now we're ready to go. So to start the backup going, we can simply right click or control click or command click and do analyze and sync. When we do analyze and sync, the software will now go off and look at my photo's mobile drive. That's the master drive, and it will check the number of files and the number of folders, etc. on there. It will then go off and do the same on the photo's mobile backup drive and check what's there. Having found the differences, it then synchronizes those differences. And that may take more or less time depending on um, how many images you've, you've loaded or altered on your master drive since the last time you ran this backup. This is going to be quite quick because I've done that quite recently. OK, that's finished now. It didn't find any differences because I've already backed it up uh, recently. So if there had been any changes, we could look in here at the details of what's happened. And here it tells us the analysis started, any changes, any errors, how many files they found, analysis complete. So that's a dialogue of what's going on. 